It's a small business morning. I'm getting ready to work on pouring just a few more of my floral resin hooks because I do need to catch up on orders. And something else I've been really excited to show you guys is I'm going to be expanding my little merch shop a little bit more and I'm officially gonna be having some Notion trays. So this first one just finished drying and solidifying and it's a really cute little flower shaped dish that you guys could throw your sewing needles or even your stitch markers inside. And then the next little mold that I created is just a basic square one. But again, it does have like that holographic glittery. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so stunning. I'm trying to decide what color I want to use to make some more of those little dish trays. And at the moment, I'm kind of stuck between this really gorgeous like orangey yellow chromey one. I also picked up this newer shade, Insane. I don't even know what to call this besides like periwinkle. Today is my very first ever event hosted by a really fun brand, Halara. So thank you guys for inviting me. But I really wanted to show you guys my cute little bolero that I made, I think almost two weeks ago now. And I thought today would be like the perfect day to wear her out and com commemorate her. So I've got my little shruggy bolero on. I've got some Nike Dunk Lows on, some H&M jeans. Put on just a little bit of makeup because my scars are kind of crazy, but we're looking cute. I'm excited to see what this is all about. We made it inside. I have to try on a dress or wear it for today's event. And ironically, they gave me the one color that, <laughs> it's pink, if y'all know me. But I'm gonna change, it's cute anyways. I do wanna keep on the bolero, so. Hello. 
Hello guys, it's been a few days since I attended the event. I'm gonna start off my week by just kind of taking a chill day. I've been planning on making this little project for so freaking long. I don't know why I keep putting off projects, but I figured today I'm just gonna dive right on into it. I'm just gonna start crocheting. Okay, it's a chill day, we're sitting in bed. I'm trying to get used to filming some TikToks some more Instagram reels because in case you guys don't know, I did officially make a new TikTok. It's a whole long story, but I'm on TikTok now. So if you guys wanna see some more short form, casual crochet content, creating content, feel free to follow my new page. But the yarn that I have sitting in front of me, this is the Hobie Highland Wool. I believe that this is labeled as a number three DK lightweight yarn. It's pretty darn thin, okay? I was not expecting that. And I'm going to pair it with like a little bit of an accent trim collar and cuff with this Lime Brand Faux Feather yarn. This stuff is out of this world. Never used a fiber quite like this. decided to start over on the project that I began yesterday and I decided to pick out this Red Heart Super Saver in their brushed line. This is a really fun kind of like faux mohair type of fiber and I think that this is a pretty close color match to whatever yarn I was using before so I've just been kind of cranking away on the same project but I love this like slightly faux mohair type of look. It just has a really subtle fuzz and it's honestly super comfortable as I'm crocheting with it. It feels really, really good on my hands, but I do believe that this is a 100% acrylic fiber. So this is a really nice option in case you guys want to start kind of like testing around with different textured fibers. But at the moment, this is just kind of like a back panel. About that time it is tax season so i actually have my appointment today but the real important part is trying to figure out just how much i have spent on my small business on youtube on just being a sole proprietor so i have pretty much all of my receipts and documents i just wanted to honestly take a moment to just kind of bring up this topic because i don't see too many YouTubers or small business people on YouTube talking about how expensive it is to run your own small business and just how much money you have to pay when it comes for tax time. As you guys know, being a small business owner, taxes aren't taken out of what you earn. Like there is a small tax, you know, that Squarespace or Wix or Shopify might take when you guys sell something. But when you get your paychecks from Google, from here on YouTube, they don't deduct taxes. So it's really important to calculate out everything that you have spent in your business so that you can get the most money back because here in California, they do take, I believe it's a little bit over 15% of your entire income. So that comes from every hook set that I sell. I need to calculate out 15% of that cost as well as just, you know, everything else. So I really need to be diligent and start adding up all of the bills.
Hello everybody, figured I would give you a quick little update. It's another rainy, chilly, cold day. So I'm finally getting back to my roots. I'm gonna crochet a little bit. So as you guys have seen, I've been working on this like faux feather type of like cropped sweater. So I finished up the back panel and she does look super small, but I am planning on having this to stretch to fit very drastically. So back panel is all completed as well as two matching front panels. I'm so excited. At this point, I can pretty much start stitching everything together. So I'm just gonna start attaching it at the upper shoulder seams. I've kind of been like on and off with my crochet for like the last month. I definitely wasn't feeling like burnt out, but as I've talked about in previous videos, I have been having like a ton of anxiety and I've had so many orders for my small business to catch up on that I don't have a lot of motivation or energy or like mental stamina to crochet, which is very unlike me. But the last few days I've definitely been in the mood. I'm hoping that I can finish this up in the next day or two and then show you guys the final results. But I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are getting rain wherever you're at. Some cloudy, cold weather. I do miss summer. I can't wait to put on bikinis and go to the beach and get a tan, but we all know this like rainy weather is very short term and we don't get it a lot in California. So I'm just enjoying my time. <laughs> Good morning guys i'm wearing one of my new merch sweaters finished this one up i think a few days ago but i have the nutty hooker logo up here in the corner i love this new version it's kind of like acidy and wavy and i do have one of my new logos on the back i'm obsessed though with this color the colors that i chose for the sweaters chef's kiss very kind of like it's airbnb earthy tone very light. I'm starting to come to the very end of my little faux fur sweater. Don't mind Mowgli back there, but I figured I'd show you guys a little bit of progress. It's kind of like matching in color. You guys can really tell my vibe and my favorite colors. So I have the majority of like this little, I guess kind of like a cardigan sweater put together. I just finished up the sleeves earlier this morning and that means I can officially start working with the faux feather yarn. So again, this is just the Lion Brand faux feathers. I'm just enjoying my time at home. I'm so happy with this sweater. If you guys are interested, I will be releasing new Naughty Hooker, it's Aaron B, Aaron Rako merch on my channel, on my website, hopefully in a month or less. So I will keep you guys updated. have to remain a little bit covered up because I don't have like little zippers or ties on this yet but I am working on the first sleeve and I think that this is so absolutely adorable look at this like fluffy cuff but look at this this is so darling oh my gosh I can't wait to add this to like a little collar section I feel like like a 90s moment with this little cardigan on. I might even leave the cuffs like a little bit short like this. All right, I'm having way too much fun with this. I'm gonna keep crocheting. So I know it's been a couple of days, but I really wanted to kind of model and test out the finished little cardigan. So I just, you know, I have a bra on, but we're gonna chuck her on and see how she looks with the whole kind of like 90s looking fit. I hope this looks really cute. I actually haven't tried it on just yet, but as we've seen, I've got that faux feather, faux fur texture on the cuffs, as well as just a little bit on the collar because I did want it to kind of, you know, match and look the vibe. Oh my gosh, it's raining so hard outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but let's go ahead, throw it on and see what she looks like. 